Hi, and welcome to phase two of completing these three large lead dormers. Let's go and have a look, see what stage we're at. Okay, so I've got this first dormer already completed. Second phase done. So what I've done is I've just made a saddle first where that, where that ply stepped out to weather that corner. Um, now you can see I've got a cover flushing over the slate there as well. Then I've just cladded these sides. So what I'm going to do now is move on to this second dormer. So we we'll get this one stripped off and start having a proper look at it. Okay, so I've just stripped off all this plastic sheeting now so we're going to have a proper look, see what's going on with this. So my first stage, I'm going to create a saddle to begin with, which is going to come down on these slates here, probably to around there somewhere. It's going to come up there, out through there, up onto this fly here. Obviously it's going to step out here. We're going to have like a corner here as well, and it's going to come, it's going to come right up here. And then once that's in, I'll put a soaker on the slate, and then the cover flashing over the top. So let's Let's start making up this saddle first. Okay, so I've just cut a piece of lead 300 by 390. I've marked 120 mil there, I've marked 150 mil down there. I've just taken my angle. From that there. I'm just gonna transfer that into that position there. It's about there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cut down that line there, cut all the way up there, and I'll just I'll fold that bit up, fold that up, and then I'll have a nice little weld through there. So I'm just going to get that done now. Okay, so that's that saddle all made up there now. That's what's going to happen now. So I'm going to oil that on both sides. Then that's going to go into position there. And what that does, that's just going to weather that corner there so that no, no water can go into the roof. So that'll go on there, I'll fix that into position and then we'll be looking at putting a, a soaker and a slate onto that followed by a bit of cover flashing and then we can start looking at the cladding. Okay so that's that saddle detail all in there now, slated that back in as well, put a little bit of cover flashing over the top of that as well. So I'm just in the process at the moment of just getting this cladding on. So I've just nailed on a continuous copper strip through there, 25 mil lower than the ply. Got some building paper in place there. And I've just got my, my panel there, just cut to the angle of the roof, ready to go. So I'm gonna get that on, then I'll repeat the process on the other side. Okay, so that's that other side on there as well now. Just need to put a few more nails in there, but I'll do that from the top when I, when I put the um, drip batten around for the flat roof. So that's that side done as well. So now both those sides are done. What I'm going to do now is concentrate getting this front section in. Okay, so let's get this prepped up. First thing I'm going to do is just make sure there's no nails and a crowd. I can already see quite a few. I've just been, these have been fired in with a nail gun. You can just see if you put lead straight onto there, it's just going to pierce through. Should really be countersunk. Not too bad, right? What I'm going to do now is just nail continuous copper strip through that front edge. It's going to do 25 mil lower than this edge here. Just give us a drip. Let's take that one off the side. It should be it should be in the right place. Thank you. 
feed and this one's going to be a bit bouncy. Too bad. That's me out of nails, so I just need to go down and get, get some more nails. And I'm just going to continue on getting all that copper all the way through to the edge, to the, to the end there. Okay, so that's that copper continuously nailed through there now, 25 mil lower than that ply. Okay, let's just see it. Just, just see that all the copper's all the way through there. As you can see, I've just put some building paper on there as well now. I just put a welt bang in the middle. So now we're all set out. Let's get that panel knocked up and on there. Okay, let's get this one knocked up. One meter four hundred and eighty. It's got to go that way a little bit. that off I'm gonna find my square there right there right in front of me get that down out of the way So I need to allow 25 mil fold. 25 mil for my hook out there. Cut that out. We have to cut this lead down as well. See what it needs to be. Cut down to three, three, five. Three, three, five. I just need to get one more measurement. Flip that over. Just knock up a twenty five mil. We get a bit of patination oil on that now.
can address that to the square, not too tight because I want to be able to get it in the copper quite easily. But obviously anything you can do on the bench is generally quicker than doing in position. That's that. Just knock up that 25 mil welt. Getting a bit, bit more patination oil in there. Is now ready, ready to go in. Okay, let's see what it goes in like. I'm expecting this to be a bit of a pickle because uh, it's quite difficult to hold it up in in the copper on your own and and nail it at the same time and make sure it's lined up with the well as well. And the fact it's been oiled on the underside makes it a bit slippery. So let's uh, <laughs> let's have a go at this. <sighs> thought so. I think if I get it lined up in the well first, which is there, I'll try and get a temporary fix in there. Oh, that went down, didn't it? Right, we're, we're good for the well. So this is where it needs to be, just to make sure it's fully up now. to tell from that one there actually as well. There we go. A little temporary fix in there as well. Hit the, the join of the two plies. Okay, to drop that down a little bit more. Do you know what? That is not bad at all. Get one in there. We're, we're on position. It's looking. The well's looking square with my with my line. I just want to get a level on that underside just to make sure. That's looking good. Before I go too mad nailing it up. Yep. We are spot on there. Quick nail her up. I'm just going to do that for now. I'll get a few more in later when I when I work out how wide the batten is that's going on there. I don't want to 
don't get too many in there at the moment. I think I'm using a, a slate batten as a drip edge for that, which will give me 50 mil. I need to make sure first. Right, so that's, so that's all nailed up now. I do now just get a little bit of copper in that well. Oh, it's a bit right there, look. Just gonna notch that out a little bit there. Okay, so that's that one in. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to repeat the process and get that second panel in there. Okay, that's that second panel in there as well now. To be honest with you, that one was easier. Um, I think the fact that you can actually hook it into that one, it just it does make it easier. It just doesn't slide around as much. So now that one's in, what we'll need to do now, we need to dress in that central welt there, dress in these two side welts, got the one here and one on the other side, get them turned around, give it a bit of oil, that'll be this phase complete. Okay, so that's those welts turned over and that central one dressed in there now. I've also just given that all a coat of patination oil. So that is now job done. Still need to repeat the process on that third dormer, but I'll do that one tomorrow. So that'll be it for this phase. Then we can start getting the tops on in the next phase. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can check me out on Instagram at SOB Leadworks. If you're new to the channel, Please subscribe. Hopefully catch you in the next. Cheers.